Hey, what's up, Ham Radio Crash Course? I just got done filling out my mill spec airsoft uh, arrangement here, and I needed a, a tactical antenna for my Baofeng, and I found one, and we're gonna talk about it. Let's get started. This is this is a real AK-47. This isn't airsoft at all. Where did this come from? All of these magazines have bullets in them. Someone has made a huge mistake here. So I started seeing all these messages so show up. Like, you must review the... Uh, uh, look at this. Look at the name on this thing. VHF, UHF antenna for the Baofeng. And you can already tell from the coiling on this thing right that how long it is and this is all over amazon you you can go on amazon and have ever looked for a baofeng and not see something like this and they make shorter versions of this this is the longest one and i don't even know that i can get this in frame let me see if i can hold on while i whip this out there you go that is the uh the full length of this antenna which is insane. It's 25 inches from tip to the connector, and the connector is actually what gives you the counterpoise connection, if you will, because if you just disconnect this here, right? This is just a uh, standard dumb jack. When you disconnect the antenna from the radio, that's where you get the connection to the actual ground, right? So there's probably a coil of wires in here, something that it's doing to help out to match the SWR. I was curious, obviously this is a bit ridiculous. I mean, you can see this thing is, <laughs> it's completely out of control, but how effective is it? So I'm gonna take my signal strength reader, I'm gonna put it over onto the side and I'm gonna compare it against some of our more popular antennas and see how it fares. Uh, spoiler alert, this thing is amazing probably because it's 24 inches long. Uh, even in, in its coiled up space, it's very effective. So I have a series of antennas here. I have the uh, Nagoya 771. I have the Expert Power, which was favorably reviewed. All of the antennas we're gonna be looking at have been reviewed on this channel in one way or the other. And what I'm gonna do is to try and make this <laughs> as scientific as possible, which I know I can't really do with an HT. I'm gonna connect it to my BFF8HP, each antenna, and I'm gonna key up from the same location and we're gonna get a reading on the field strength meter. And then we're gonna go with that. Now, I will make special note that because this thing is so long that vertically, if they're all, the antennas are facing the field strength meter at this mm. level, that might not be even. So I'm gonna lower it down to be commensurate to the middle point of all the antennas. So they all have a middle point comparison. This is the best I can give you guys. So I also have a tinier, about 14 inch version of the long tactical antenna. I will give pretty much away all of these antennas. I don't think I'm going to hang on to any of them, but it's going to be interesting to see how effective they are. So first is the uh, at about three feet, and I'm going to try and make them even in the antenna, and let's key up. So that's way into the red, uh, fairly powerful. Okay, next up at about three feet away is the Nagoya 771. Get it right about middle. Wow. I didn't expect that. Can I get a little bit closer? Doesn't even really affect it that much. Wow. The expert power, let's try it. About three feet, ready? Hey, whoa, the expert power actually is doing better than the 771. I wonder why that is. Uh, they're about middle. Um, affecting, moving up and down does change things a bit, but not that appreciably. That's interesting. As kind of a dark horse entrance, we have the Nagoya 701. This is provided to me by Bridgecom, which is hosting the giveaway we're doing on the Ham Radio Crash Course. If you take the link in the description, you'll get access to it. So from three feet out, that's pretty good. That's expert power territory. I gotta try the 771 again. I, I think I might have messed something up. Let's make sure that <laughs> this is the, the feedback we're going with. 
Okay, so again, about three feet with the Nagoya 771. Yeah, it's not moving up and down the pit. Interesting. It's not good at all. I don't know what the deal is. Composition of the antenna, maybe? I, I can't really say. I, I don't know, but um, it's pretty clear who the winner is on this. I have a couple more antennas, but let's let's check these out. So this isn't completely fair because I've switched to another radio. I, I know that I have changed the dynamics of this whole thing, but I have two antennas to test. So you can treat this like a second test. This is the shorter version of the tape measure tactical antenna. So at about three feet, right in the middle, seems to do pretty well. Um, Oh, we're on, that's why, because we're on data. So way up into the red, pretty good. Um, I'll leave this on. Actually, let's swap it out because I have the signal stick. Let's compare it to the signal stick in terms of output. Signal stick being uh, one of our favorites and also, very important, comparably sized if you're comparing the radiating element side of it. Um, as far as antennas go. So let's try that out. Now I am using an adapter, so I appreciate this is not completely the same. Let's make it as straight as possible. And here we go. So signal stick may be a little bit under. I just have to try this again with the, the big, the Mac Daddy of antennas here. It just buries the needle. Uh, <laughs> this is interesting. So is what we've just done scientific? Well, in, in a certain sense, we had a control. Uh, we had multiple different variables, and we compared them against one antenna, which was this crazy uh, Brie tactical folding antenna, and it does. And it, it it's like two tape measures that are opposed on each side, and you can just kind of like fold them down. It's like a slap bracelet. It just kind of snaps back in place. If you're familiar with military radios with vertical whips, this is very much uh, reminiscent of that. I'll post the link in Amazon if you want to check these out. I can't comment to how much better they are in comparison to other antennas, but they are better. They receive better. I I've been able to receive repeaters and signals in this garage that other antennas can't just by it sitting up uh, like this on my Baofeng, and that's uh, in comparison to other better HTs. Is it ridiculous? Yeah, it's super ridiculous. Look how big this antenna is. But is it cool? Uh, tactic cool, for sure. So it's really going to be up to you on what you think. I mean, that is a... Uh, are we compensating for anything? I don't know. I, <laughs> I was not surprised by the performance of this, to be honest with you because it's so big and it's so long and it is really good at radiating your RF. So is it the most tactical antenna on the market? Yes. Is it also possibly the best market that could connect or the best antenna on the market that can connect to your HD? Possibly also yes. So all the links will be in the description. I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick look, I guess you could say, and somewhat scientific review of the uh, Brie Tactical Antennas that are available on Amazon. Again, the links are in the description if you want to check them out. Uh, they, they do actually work really well. Now, uh, I do have to say, before I leave, this is a, a last little point. If you do fold this up, um, it still receives pretty well, probably better than a lot of other antennas. Um, maybe not the signal stick, but look at that. <laughs> That's ridiculous.